Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. We should do a game uh, since it's like movie week on the on the uh, program. Where you know, like a movie, like it's the title of the movie, and then they and then they give you the uh, the the tagline of the movie, like match the the title to the tagline because i'm just looking through like some of the kate beckinsale uh titles and it's like uh she was in a movie called white out and i let's see what did, what is it uh, about i have no idea what it's about it's a crime thriller based on a comic book but it's uh white out and it says see your last breath <laughs> if we could do like or it would, she's really known for underworld and it's the underworld rise of the lichens is Every war has a beginning. We should do like pick an pick an actor and then go through and 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 then they got to either tell us what the title is based on the taglines of the movie. You know, I don't know if that would work. Why? Well, bring up some famous taglines. Let's I'll see if I can get one. I watch a lot of movies. Famous ones? Okay, let's see. If let's, if you brought up some famous taglines to see if I could do it, that sounds pretty tough. I'm trying to think of a movie that had a famous tagline. And I can't think of one. Can once in a lifetime happen twice? Yeah, I have no idea. A serendipity. <laughs> you just said it's one of your favorite movies. It's a hard game. I didn't. It, I didn't really, say. I said Kate Beckinsale's favorite movie. It was not a favorite movie. well, yeah. And I haven't seen it in. It's over not. A I mean, it's, I know Kate Beckinsale's no Danny McBride, but I mean, still. Give me a Danny McBride. Oh, okay, movie. I will. Uh, that, catch, that, that's a great idea. Actually, that's a or great idea. Or Will Ferrell. Hold on, hold on. Or okay. a, uh, Match the Danny McBride tagline. Okay, I just had a deja vu. That yeah, I don't think I, I don't think, think I dreamt I'm, this before. I don't think I'm going to get this, but no, I, I think you might. I think you might. I, based on knowing his body of work, we'll see. Knowing his I'm body of work, coming to mind, but we'll see. Or maybe do a game where we get people to um, they got to match as many as possible. They give us an actor. If the actor's been taken already, they have to match as many as possible. Uh, you have to match the movie to to the tagline. Um, let's see here. Oh. I think you should have been a game show a producer, writer. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Get some. I have no idea. You don't know the Danny McBride movie? No. Tropic Thunder. Never seen it. Oh, really? Well, maybe I have. I don't know. I, see, the problem is with those movies... It's, it's not like something you really remember. Like, you watch it, you laugh, and you move on. <laughs> okay, I got one for you. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. I don't know. Really? I thought you were a big Danny McBride fan. Yeah, I told you. No, be, I am, but here's the thing. Nobody remembers these catch lines from movies. That's why this would be a horrible game. Pineapple Express. Mm. That's the name of the movie. Yeah. Oh, get some. What would you say? Put it in your pipe and smoke it? Yeah. See, because that was a movie about weed. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> Terminator. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> that's it. But that, that's the that's only one. That's a tagline. That's a tagline. It's the it, it's the extra things that they add to the to the, uh, the like the the you know it's the title then the tagline. Like, uh, let's see what's Kyle name? writes in tagline or famous quote. That's what we're talking about, Kyle. Congratulations. Uh, way to put the pipe down. <laughs> Boy, he's been in a lot of good movies. <laughs> How about this one? It starts two of your favorite actors. Get your quest on. I have no idea. <laughs> this is what it is. Starts Natalie Portman and Danny McBride. That was your highness when they were medieval warriors. That would get oh, I high. guess I haven't seen everything Danny McBride's done because I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess I haven't. Oh, my gosh. All right, st- uh, stick around. Coming up. The stupidest topping I've ever heard of on pizza, and I've I've actually seen pizza that has broccoli and cauliflower on it before. Really? And I thought, that's can I tell you something? Never going to eat cauliflower crust pizza. That is not something. Well, that the I'll cauliflower ever, crust no, pizza is no, one no, thing, no, 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 but no. to put just chunks of cauliflower and broccoli on top of a What's pizza with a red sauce. What's the difference if you're making a crust out of cauliflower? Italians don't put cauliflower and broccoli in there. Italians their- don't make cauliflower crust either. How do you know that? Maybe I'm that's where it came doing from. Doing that. Maybe that's where it came from. That is some San where do you think Francisco it came from crap then? right there. <laughs> like seriously, check yourself, dude. Can I tell you what our job check is yourself. supposed to be by design? Our job by design is supposed to be uh, 
talk about something that people are talking about and try to find a way to make it funny. Facebook is just talking about stuff that people are talking about, but then interjecting their own personal opinions to see if they could draw reaction from somebody else. Anger, and too. That, and Hate that reaction, and anger. And the easiest reaction to go to I think mean, that's anger. Facebook jobs. People, Facebook's job is to, is to have people post stuff about current things going on and make them angry. That's why I love, I love Brian on, on Facebook. Because who's Brian? Brian Dennis, friend of the of the program. Oh yes, he goes by many names. Yes, he goes by many names on Facebook. I had to keep track of that one. I should have what said was, that because I, I may have just tipped off uh, Menlo Park on it. But Brian is great <laughs> because He's his main goal on Facebook is to be funny. That would be awesome if that was the case with health. 50% of the people that I are on Facebook. I just wish people would shut up and mind their own business. Hey, this is you. You're a Facebook guy. Because you know what? You're telling people to shut up. You're already starting to go there. I'm sorry. It's toxic, driving me nuts. I'm tired of it. Nobody work. tells you what to do, all right? You're a, you're, you're a person. You're an adult. You live in an America. And being an American in, means... In an America? It, Which one? I said you live in an America. Okay. You're an American. <laughs> and that means... See, I'm all fired up. I can't, I can't speak straight. Just you live in an America. Your own business. Let well, people is do it what South America, is it North America, which America am I living God. in? Um, how long will it be before you're comfortable eating inside a restaurant? That is the SurfNet Communications poll question today. Uh, 40% of people saying I'd be comfortable doing it now. Yes. 20% saying when we are in the appropriate tier. Another 20% saying when I am vaccinated. Um, and the other 20% saying when I'm vaccinated. And at least 50% of the population is too. You can leave your voice without and maybe this is your fault jeff maybe you should quit doing poll questions like this why because you're getting people worked up and people that this, this is this is you just answer you just click there's no comments left that's where you that see this great thing about the surfnet communications poll question <laughs> is you just click i want to know what people there's no have to names, say there's no names attached to it yeah, but then all I you know. do is you click and you let all your right. voice be heard and then be done with it for the day and then you can move on and not have to stew about what somebody in colorado thinks about you <laughs> <laughs> You're right. And that's what makes this great. That's why you should go to KZOZ.com and do the Surfnet Communications poll question. Let us we used to run these, these promos for the show and said we're the social anti-network. We need to get back to that. Or the anti-social network. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Well, because we were the, the OG social network. That's what this show was. Well, radio was. Before Facebook radio, and, yeah. and radio in general. Yeah, yeah we radio. were the ones that were talking. People could call in and they could comment. Yeah. They could you know like or dislike. You can still do that. We love it if you did. And it's oh, a hell of a lot more exclusive than just leaving your comments on let's Facebook. Let's talk about food. That's the low-hanging fruit for all you trolls out there. The low-hanging fruit is just leaving your toxic comments on Facebook and walking away. Let's talk about food because when you talk about food, nobody can get mad. It's not political. You can't, you know what? Why do you think we talk about food so much? <laughs> Okay, so I told you the, the the one topping that turned me off was broccoli on pizza. I don't understand it. I love broccoli. I like I like it in many ways. Roasted, with cheese, with whatever. I've seen it on pizza before. And I, I, I'm Casserole. With, like broccoli is, broccoli is one of my favorite foods, but I see it on pizza and I walk away from that pizza. I don't understand that. <laughs> There's a company or a pizza place. Where was this at? In Iowa? Okay, this makes sense because they got nothing. They're so bored in Iowa. They're putting Fruit Loops on pizza. Okay? Like... Have you ever talked to somebody who has nothing to say and they just say random stuff out loud to try to get your attention to try to be shocking? No. You've never known anybody like that? You, I mean, that's you're the closest thing to it. Shut but, up. I mean, outside of that, no. I don't say shocking things. I'm just saying. It's very strange and you must be bored if you're putting Fruit Loops on your pizza. No, go ahead. I can see it in your smirk. You have something to say. No, I have nothing to say to it. You're right. <laughs> I mean, you're just making random comments at this point. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Fruit Loops on Pizza sounds gross. See, I agree with you on something. Yeah, no, that's stupid. It's, it's like, what, what's the point? I understand. Like somebody made a pizza around Halloween time. Sardines, I don't get sardines on pizza somebody either. Somebody made a pizza out of candy corn. And that is, that is just to get attention. People do things to get attention. Fruit Loops on pizza. Pizza, only to get attention. There if it's are, a dessert pizza, I guess. There are donut places that do this kind of thing. They do it to get attention. Now every single other donut place says, oh, they're putting cereal on their donuts at such and such donut place? I've got to put cereal on my donut. I don't get that. Now, the bacon on the donut was legit. Yeah, 
don't it like it, like if you ever eaten like my kids see it and they're like they flock to it because it's bright colors and everything and they're like oh yeah look, look, look get that cereal on donut it is disgusting i said let me have a bite of that i want to try it it's gross okay that is too much it's just sweet 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 yes. sweet sweet why isn't anybody put like extra movie theater butter popcorn on a donut yet yeah, there's your niche. I mean, there there's it is. That's the one thing that hasn't been done. Yeah. So do it. Popcorn donuts. Salted peanuts. Put that on a donut. People put nuts on donuts. Oh, that's true. They, they chop them yeah, up. Chop them up. Yeah, that's chop been a donut. Done. That's been done. Gross. But, but not popcorn. Been... That sounds gross. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Movie theater butter popcorn on a glazed donut? Yes. That would be kind of like the salty sweet thing. Okay. Though. Well, go for it. Uh, let's Knock see. yourself out. I'm, I'm going to stick with my... Uh, with my old fashioned glazed. Oh, Ray says it's called a veggie pizza. Yeah, but isn't there better veggies, Ray, than broccoli to yeah. put on a pizza? Yeah, you're, you're talking about mushrooms and zucchini, onions and peppers, uh, anything. And, yeah, I mean you're, you're talking about vegetable. Yeah, vegetable. Zucchini doesn't have a flavor to it. Though. It's got a good texture though. It's like putting eggplant on or something. Anchovies and jalapenos are the only acceptable pizza toppings. Unpopular opinion. Um, you know that's from uh, does not trust China from the seven oh seven. Thank you for writing in. Anchovies, I like anchovies like on Caesar salads. I guess it's really salty and maybe that adds something, but I've never I've never enjoyed it on pizza. Too many other great toppings you can put on a pizza. But everybody, you know, to to their own, whatever. I don't look up where the seven oh seven is. Oh, Mendocino. Yeah. Mendocino County. Nothing going on there. They're probably putting fruit loops on their pizza too. You go, seven oh seven. How about Kate Beckett sell on a donut? <laughs> Yummy. John, that's what we're talking about, buddy. That's, you know what Congratulations, that you're the winner. You know what that's called? <laughs> Serendipity. <laughs>
Your finger never stopped pushing that button the whole time. Oh, yeah. Well, these, these are supposed to be durable. I mean, I don't know how many radio stations Nothing is DJ-proof. You know but that. The DJs are hard on equipment. They are. I mean, it's... <laughs> Very it's much so. And to Jeremy's credit, he wouldn't... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's such a nervous tick at this point. Oh, it is. Because it's, he's been dealing with it for 15 years, but the lights worked in the board. He probably wouldn't be touching it all the time to make sure it's on. No, no. I make sure the buttons are on or off. I yeah. mean, I'm constantly hitting the off button. Oh, I think we all have a little bit of that. I it's, mean, I do... It's a little bit of a tick, but it's, yeah. also, but it's really because I've been caught. Well, that and the trust in the machinery, too. Yeah. You know, it's like, is it on? Is it on? Make sure, you know. <laughs> How many years have you worked for this company? Well, how long's a piece of string? Okay. Too goddamn long, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you've been saying that forever. My yeah, point is, you've been here for like 20 years. 21 going on. Yeah. Well, my birthday is always the anniversary. 22 thing, years. Was this, this thing was pretty much here when you got here, wasn't it? Because I know this no, was, this that's was, the new one. This what are you is, talking about? <laughs> when did they move into this building? Two thousand three. Really, I think the other one had wood sides. You know, it was a woody. <laughs> two thousand three. Is that when they came in this building? Uh, uh, two It'll be three. twenty years. Two here, actually. Two thousand two. Yeah, twenty years. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it'll be t- next Pretty year. Sure. Be twenty years. That's when they put this in. I asked. Okay. This was brand new to this building. So yeah, I guess is, they all were. I mean, they are so old now, but yeah, they, and they've been old. beat on for twenty years. Can you imagine if you were using a cell phone from twenty years ago, a laptop? That's a, a little, computer. That's a false equivalency, Jeremy. I don't know if it really is. is because yeah. this is a. I mean, the transmitter has been there for. Bill's all excited because it's been there forever. But they replace parts inside of it. Yeah. It's like an old car uh-huh. that they keep replacing. But the even a car, twenty years with a car, you know. Yeah. Well, this is electronics. This is, mm-hmm. ele- most electronics don't make it twenty years. All right, and this—that's a testament to whatever this is. Audiotronics <laughs> just sounds like something from Radio Shack. <laughs> yeah, but look at that Q speaker. Isn't that like, cool? The way they how make many the batteries logo did I have it? to buy to get a discount to buy this this, this is console? It, is it Audiotronics by either Tandy or Texas <laughs> Instruments? Exactly. <laughs> hey, they're a Tandy company, man. Don't mess with that. <laughs> I mean, you don't want the radio store. You want the Radio Shack. You know. You don't want the radio and night here's store. Here's the thing: the management here at the radio station knows this needs to be replaced, but they just don't want to do it. Well, yeah, they, and now we're here to make money, not spend ex- it. There's always the, oh, now it's COVID, and now it's that. I it's get working. it. And listen, I am the a, new ones they have all digital. But listen, it's working, okay. And let's go back to the discussion uh, that is it started working? off this whole conversation. It's not always working, okay. Did you rather? <laughs> Did you hear me go over the air yesterday? Yes. Okay. No. Would you, would <laughs> you can't equate operator error yes, with bad equipment. Anyway. Exactly. Well, the new boards prevent that from happening because you can put timers no, on them. There's no such thing as time, DJ proof. No. This Jeff and Jeremy studio gets shut down and will not go over the air. But would you rather would you rather have a new board to work with or get a two dollar an hour raise? I want both. Okay. <laughs> that you're not gonna get both. <laughs> Which would you rather have? We talked about this earlier. I know. He'll storm the transmitter. This Careful. is what I'm saying. Like, you can complain about the equipment all you want. But if you get new equipment in here, it's just another ex- excuse in there. Not to in give you a raise. Yeah, they'll be like, uh, I don't know. We can't afford to give you any more money. Or, or because, give you your money back. Because <laughs> that's a touchy subject. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of people right now. Uh, but they say, well, you know, we bought a new board. We can't afford to give you that $2 an hour. Mm-hmm. Per, ne- they would never say that. That's, well, that's not how this. You got to buy lemons if you have a lemonade stand. But that's why I'm never excited when they get new. Equipment. Remind me never to work. <laughs> yeah, <on you>. like, <laughs> okay. Can't ask for a raise for a year now. Let's go to the phones. There's somebody calling in. Go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah. Um, I got an example for for stuff wearing out. My truck is a '94 Ford F-150 with just the air conditioning is probably the only thing it's got going for it. And it's got 510,000 miles on Damn, it. And it's it just commercial. keeps running. Damn. That's yeah. a great yeah. example of what we're talking about. That, Thank you. And that testimonial brought to you by our friends at Paso Robles Ford. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact same thing as what we're talking yeah. about. Here. F-150, 510,000 miles? A good story, though. Good story. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, I just cro- I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on 200,000, mm-hmm. and I'm like, fingers crossed that you know, I'll get there. Well, Seth. Yeah. I think your studio has a nicer board than mine. So you have nothing well, to complain Well, it's funny because, you know, you see all those uh, buttons. You don't necessarily use all of them. And then they, they'll, like, rob Peter to pay Paul, you know, take an old one out. And then it looks like this toothless thing after a while. You know, it's missing teeth. You only got so many buttons at work. And, and do those things still fall off, the sliders? Do they pop off once in a while? If there was such a thing as a hitman, and they would take us all out right now. I mean, <laughs>
I'm not leaving the studio. Take favorite, us off I'm the not going to see anybody out my there. My favorite today. one is on your side over there when you go to answer line one because, like, sometimes you'll be out on vacation or something. I have to sit over there, and I'll go to hit line one to answer a phone call, and then the button will pop up into the air yeah. and then fall on the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, now have you been down the hall to see what Craig uses in his little room down there way at the end? Oh, the new little digital board. Oh, I thought he still had the old uh, no, 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 Woody. It's, oh no, no, he's no, they I had a new one down there for over a year now. Oh, oh really? okay, wow, it's pretty fancy actually. Well, that, I, that's that big station. They don't they do better business than us. I guess, I guess. they do. I guess well, I got to go down there. And check we're it gonna out. Uh, get out of here. Seth's up next. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye bye. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.